Okay, welcome back. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, BLAST databases, or just well, they're the sequences you want to search for for information. And so we're going to focus our attention to uh, this BLAST DB folder, um, which is in the Meta Pathways uh, directory, and uh, in here uh, we actually only have we have three databases that are distributed. We have the COG database, clusters of autologous genes, um, I, and we have this uh, the Silva uh, large rabbit unisub unit database and uh, MetaPsych, which is a, um, a subset of the Uniprot database that correspond to uh, enzymes in, in pathway tools. So if I um, take this to a text editor and, and open it up, then it, I mean, I can do this because it's not exactly a big fi file. Uh, you can't do this with uh, like a large database like RefSeq or, or Keg. Um, but as you can see, it's it's just a FASTA file. Um, I just didn't name it with the FASTA ending, and that's sort of because we don't really think about um, databases as being FASTA files um, once they're compiled. And so, just to you know, keep the name sort of simple. I, I left the fast way out. But anyhow, you see that uh, these are um, proteins uh, that correspond to a Uniprot number. Um, but they're, uh, they correlate to reactions in the um, uh, uh, MetaPsych database. So, um, but, um, so. There's plenty of more, plenty more databases. This is not all the sequence information in the world, um, I, and so and the main reason why we didn't distribute more databases with the with the uh, the software is just being, quite frankly, size. It, I mean, we just didn't want to have to distribute like gigabytes and gigabytes of sequence database. So it's, nor is it sort of within our right to do so. Um, Uh, however, uh, you know, you can download these things from, from a website, and we're just going to show you sort of in general um, uh, how that works. So um, I know I gave you guys the uh, large ribosomal subunit of the Silva database, but there's also the small ribosomal subunit, which is 16S, which is actually the one that's more important. Um, so if you go to the navigate yourself to the Silva database, and then you go to download and archive, and then you click current and exports, and here SSU ref underscore one one one. That is a FASTA file that has been uh, tarred and gzipped, uh, and for, for compression reasons, and that's the one we can download. So uh, you click there and you can download it. So um, I've actually um, already downloaded it right here. And uh, once you get it, you need to extract it. So we'll wait while, while that happens. So that is, sometimes it could take a, maybe a minute or so. And then once it's extracted, you'll just have this .fasta file without the tgz tar tar gzip uh, ending to it. And so what you do is you simply just, you know, place this file in the BLASTDB folder. And what I'm going to do is remove that um, fasta thing from the end so that it's in the same convention as every everything else. And so you can essentially place, you know, any protein or any nucleotide database, and uh, as long as you configure it to to search against it, it when you run Meta Pathways, it will pick it up and incorporate those results into the analysis. Um, 